themselves with Jerusalem, God says they shall be cut in pieces. Now, I'm going to tell you the meaning behind that. Because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. Yes, right. So America has burdened themselves with having keeping us hostage here. But that's who we are. They're going to be cut in pieces. They took our land, the, our land of Jerusalem. The Bible said, you burden yourself with that, you shall be cut in pieces. Think all the times when they passed you over for the job. Think of all the times when you was done dirty by our enemies, man. That's the anger you got a chance. But think of your fathers if you never been to. All right? Think when they was whipping our fathers, man. Cutting our women's stomach open. Big white men beating little black women upside their head. Think of that. Some brothers' kids have died. Wife has left them. Uh, many things have happened to us, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, man, all that stuff is going to go away. We got to keep our mind on it. Keep the soldiers in mind of the mission. The mission is getting the kingdom of heaven. Ruling over these devils that are present. That's the mission. That's the goal. You know what you got there in your hand? You ever seen Willie Walker? You know when they had the gold ticket? Yeah. That's what you got in your hand right there. What? Mm. You know what we are teaching? About Jesus. About Jesus, right? So what, what you know about Jesus? That he died on our cross for, for our sins. Uh -huh. And uh, we, we like basically towards the end of Revelations. So Jesus is coming soon. Okay. And he so will he take the back, ones. What do you look like? What do you look like? He looked like a man. Uh, spiritual man. Spiritual man. What yes. does spiritual man look like? You said he what? No, let, let her answer. Let her answer. I want to hear what she. Keep, keep going with your. You said he like what? He Caucasian. He got blonde hair. He's he Caucasian. Blonde. blonde hair. Okay, okay. So, what we are here to do is show our people the truth according to the Bible. That's right. So, I want, I want you to think about this, right? For 400 years, black people was what here in America? Slaves, right? So for 400 years, we've been waiting for Christ to come back looking like what? Like a Caucasian. We've been waiting for Christ to come back like a Caucasian. So you gotta think about it. Bro, listen to this, listen to this. She was coming back with her bag. The band. white people, her they put band. us in bodies. Come look at this picture. No, with her pink bag. With her, uh, okay. don't suck so the pink. Y'all ain't wasting no that, that, that boom, bro. Okay, all what the good, the all Y'all be blessed with that. Hey, look at this. I want to show you what the white man did to us. Come look at this. So the white man put us in bodies, right? Y'all brothers know about this? Y'all ever seen this? Come look, come take a look at this. The white man put us in bodies. So, for 400 years, we've been waiting for another white man to come save us from the white man? Do that make any sense? We're going to go into the Bible today and we're going to find out if the white man a liar or if the Bible a true book. Give me Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. This is for too long, we've been thinking Jesus was a Caucasian man with blind hair, like you just said, right? Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Read it out. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So wait, look at this picture we got here. Excuse me, so look at this right here. Who is that man? That's Jesus. That's what you think, right? That's what they tell us, right? So, but read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. They say his head and his hair was white like wool. So first off, it tells you the color of his hair and then it to give you the texture of his hair. So is this man hair white? Is this man hair woolly? No, right? Who got woolly hair? You got woolly hair. Yo, baby that I'm looking at got woolly hair. That's right. This 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 your husband? Yeah. Yo, we're gonna get to that later. Yo, yo, uh, your spouse got woolly hair, right? Our our people got woolly hair. But for 400 years. While we was in slavery, we've been waiting for a white man to come get us. But the Bible say what? Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. White like wool. Read. 
as white as snow. So he got fully white hair like you ever see older people hair start to turn white. His hair was fully white, read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was what? As a flame of fire. So look at this uh, white boy right here. Is his eyes a flame of fire? No, no, his eyes look real soft. Like he might touch you when you're sleeping or something. You know what I'm saying? Read them. And his feet like unto fine brass. His feet was like fine brass. So what color is brass, sister? It's a brownish, right? It's brownish. So he said his feet was fine brass. So if I look at your feet, if you ain't had these shoes on, because back then they wore sandals, right? You see your feet is the same color as your arms and your face, right? So he said his feet was what? Like unto fine brass. Like what? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything in a furnace, when you pull it out, what color is going to turn? Black. It's going to turn black, right? So the Bible describes Jesus as a what kind of man? Black. A black man, right? That's so right. let me tell you the importance of this, right? Because we've been waiting for Christ to come back for 2,000 years, right? But for over 400 years, we've been waiting for this man. While we was in chains, we was waiting, we was praying that this man came back to save us. But in actuality, that is a mental form of bondage. Because if we, if our oppressors can trick us into thinking the Son of God looked like him, we would serve him forever. But when we read this Bible, the King James Holy Bible, same Bible we done had in the church all these years, we find out Jesus look like, you got some stuff? Pick this sign up for me, so. We find out Jesus is a black man according to this Bible. Right? That's right. We find out he, the revelation of Jesus Christ, the revealing is that he looked like us. That's right. Now my question, what is the purpose of giving us this image? Why would they do this to our people? To trick us. To trick us, right? What you say, brother? Why would they give us this? Because that's who they think is God. Okay. They God. Give me uh, they God. First they Corinthians. God. And then I want you to give me that Maccabees. You know what I want? Give me that First Corinthians, Second Corinthians, 11. Verse 3, you can put it down. All praise. So what we are going to do is to tear down that law that Jesus is a white man. Because we've been waiting for what Christ to come back. We gonna show, we gonna show, we gonna go into it right we now. We gotta go though. Okay, Leonardo da Vinci. You ever heard of the Four Ninja Turtles, right? Yeah. They was all named after the famous four painters: Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, Michelangelo, and uh, Donatello. Donatello. Right? These painters was famous for repainting all the black images in Europe. Wow. They painted this man as Jesus Christ. This man named is Caesar Borgia. That's he right. He is the son of Alexander, of, uh, Alexander. Pope Alexander, right? Rizzo, oh, uh, Rizzo Raz, I know who Pope Rizzo Borgia, right? Read on. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 4. Read, hurry up. For if he that cometh preach of another Jesus. It say if he come preach another Jesus, who is the he? The white man. He came and taught us another Jesus. Read. Who we have not preached. Because the disciples never preached that. Paul, uh, Matthew, Luke, John, Peter, they never preached no white Jesus. That's right. Read on. Or if ye receive another spirit. We didn't receive another spirit. This spirit is the spirit of homosexuality. That's right. The spirit of lesbianism. That's right. The spirit that you can rob, steal, kill, sell drugs. Home money. Right? That spirit, another spirit that you can have sex outside of marriage. This is the spirit that the Christian church gave you. Read on. Which ye have not received. We didn't receive that from the Most High God. We didn't receive that from the Bible. Read on. Or another gospel, which ye have not received, ye might well bear with him. You won't fight. You're going to defend this gospel. You understand what I'm saying, sister? Right, so no longer should you sit here and say here Jesus was a white. Uh -huh. Lord's will. In the Lord's will. Yeah. Never. Give me that Leviticus 13. Uh, we, we our number on the back. Okay. Tomorrow we're gonna be here in the morning, Lord's will. We got a school you can come to. Okay. On Joy Road, okay. Southfield. Okay. Yeah, don't go nowhere, brother. I'm gonna holler at you right quick. Alright. Joy and Southfield. Alright, give me Leviticus chapter 30. Because the sister thought Jesus had blonde hair, right? Read what you got. You know what I want? 13. Because I'm gonna show you something about blonde hair, right? 
Because then in the church, they tell us Jesus is a white man, blue eyes, stringy hair, and blonde hair. What the Bible say about blonde hair? Read what you got. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 13 and verse 13. Then the priest shall see the plague. This ain't the priest gonna see this plague. This evil thing. Let me get back over here. This evil thing. A plague, a disease, a sickness. Read. And behold, if it be in the sight deeper than the skin. If it's deeper than the skin, read. And there be in it a yellow, thin hair. What's a yellow, thin hair? A line hair, right? What the priest gonna say? Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. No, not unclean, that's Jesus. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. No, red pit. Then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. That's a sickness, unclean. That's called, read on. It is a dry scale. A what? Even a leprosy. A what? A leprosy. A leprosy. So you understand that according to the Bible, it's a pure thing to have black skin. That's right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.